<laughs> All right. Listen to this. New rumors, speculation about Apple's next venture, which could be cars. Specifically, Apple's reportedly developing an Apple dashboard for your car windshield. Josh Marsh knows a thing or two about this. He runs Converse Social, which today is having its fifth anniversary as a, uh, a decent company, right? That's true. Five More than a decent th company. Right, 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 right. A money-making <laughs> enterprise, all right? So, you know all about this. Apple is creating a windshield where you've got all kinds of electronic displays up top there, just like a fighter jet. Is that accurate? That's the rumor. I mean, here's what we do know. You know in 10 to 15 years, all cars are going to be self-driving. And at that point, uh, the car is going to radically change from something that gets you from A to B to being an entertainment hub. Uh, it's going to be a massive place of media consumption, video consumption. And I know that Apple, Apple know they need to be a part of that future. Whether they're doing a heads-up display, where there's rooms that they're building their own electric minivan. Uh, yeah, they're probably doing all of these things and experimenting. Which one will come to market? We'll, we'll, we'll see. So you say, we know this. 10 to 15 years, all cars will be self-driving. You sound pretty confident of this. I'm very confident on that. I, you know, I believe it, it's fundamentally important to, yeah. to society. McKinsey actually predicts really? that 90% of cars will be self-driving by 2030. Okay, so we get there. They're all self-driving. It's like a little pod. You sit yep. there and you've got all this entertainment going on, all <laughs> provided by Apple or any other computer company. Indeed. So the car becomes a computer. That's yeah. it? That's a big part of it. It's not all of it. What's well, all hmm. of it? I mean... The future, I think what we think of as a car now is going to change radically, right? When, when cars first came about, they looked like horse-drawn carriages. Uh, and then the fact that they were you know, self-powered meant we could redesign them into completely different ways. And I think that once cars are self-driving and there's no need for you, know, you to be sitting there driving the thing, right. you know, they're going to be social hubs, community hubs, a lot more cars will be, uh, really? have shared ownership. People right. predict that. Uh, really? Well, yeah, cool. This is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Less people what actually own that cars. Windshield, though. Yeah. What would we see on the windshield? The movie wouldn't be on that windshield, or would it? I mean, who knows? It could be anything, right? It's it's it could be it augmented could be reality. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, ru the rumors that have came out today is just information, right. you know, maps, dashboards, right. applications. Uh, Apple already actually have what they call CarPlay, which is the dashboard. Some, which is the dashboard at the moment. Mm. Yeah, you know, and there are like basic heads-up displays in cars already. So this is just mm. taking that to the next level. Are they distracting right now? I'm no, sorry. Go, no, are they go. distracting right now as we still actually drive our cars yeah, as I mean, people? Right now, they they aim to be as minimalist as possible. Okay. But the point of them, if you are driving a car, is that you know you can stay looking outside. You don't right, have, you don't have down. to be looking down. Right. So it's definitely useful. But it is interesting that Apple is making this big push. I mean, this is Apple, the greatest yeah. technology company in the world. Yeah. If they're getting into this, that is the way of the future. And you, now, are they going to build the whole car or just the electronics of the car? There are really strong rumors that they they are working on an entire car, but you know they may just be doing that so that they can prototype their own ideas. I mean, I mean. You know, we've spoken here about, about hacking the cars being hacked into. Yep. Um, I think that's a really major issue. I, a lot of the big tech companies are really good at security, right? They've been dealing with hackers for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, and as, as cars become but more there's no infrastructure, enabled, Josh. It's great to have a self-driving car, but there's no infrastructure for them, is there? Yeah. Well, there's the, all of the, everything that's on the roads today is infrastructure for them. I think what's more exciting is that you can well, actually Well, the interaction it. with... Motor-driven cars yeah. would be interesting. Oh, I mean, the infrastructure for them is the internet and, the, and, and everything else. I, I think that uh, every car will have to be internet-enabled, and I think that in city centres they will be enforcing right. self-driving cars because you can re you, you can remove. <laughs> you know, you, he saves the best till last. Yes, I know. Yeah, well, you, you can you can reduce congestion, reduce accidents by ninety percent. Yeah. You'll be able to get from uptown to downtown in New York. You're in out minutes. of time. Happy <laughs> birthday, <laughs> Josh Marsh. Conversational. What's it called? Conversational. 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 Good company. Uh, the